In this one, I talk about things that we don't discuss as construction entrepreneurs. Thanks. Now, to get to that point, it took me to the of this job. What's everything? With all of that, you still have to have that desire from within. Hey, my construction entrepreneurs, good morning. Giving you that one minute again. And this one I want to talk about, um, as construction entrepreneurs, we got to realize who, we, who we're who we stringing along, right? We, as we pursue this, this tough task, you know, this hard dream, because uh, it definitely doesn't come easy to own a successful construction company. It's tough. And the people around us realize that it's tough, especially if they have been through the journey with us. And sometimes we just have to step back and take a breather. And during that time, you'll realize all the family members, the loved ones that have been down with you from the beginning. Right? Now, I said that to say, as these people are down with you from the beginning, you need to be successful at this. You can't keep stringing people along if you're not being successful, okay? Now, maybe being successful means that you need to step up your game and start doing more research, start reading, become obsessed with this, okay? A lot of us are not obsessed with this to where we're consuming it 24-7, okay? It, 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 if, if, if you're not obsessed with it, but you're stringing people along, that means that you're not being successful and people are being hurt beyond, behind your neglect to growing your business, to your neglect of actually putting in your all. That means that because you're not putting in your all, you're lacking in other areas and it affects other people because of your lack. That's not right. Okay? You must go all in. You should be consuming content. You, you should not know the stats of LeBron James. You should not be aware of every game that's happening, that, that's, that's going on. You should not be uh, in tune to uh, what's going on in another state if you don't know your own numbers. If you don't know where you where where your business is supposed to be at in three months, in six months, in nine months, there should be no other numbers, stats, or even statistics that you know of without knowing the numbers for your own business. This how you take time for that entertainment? You need to sit sit down and take time for your business life. Okay? The great thing about being a construction entrepreneur is that we're leaders, okay? But you have to be clear. You have to be clear about where you're going. And you have to be willing to pay the price. Paying that price means you have to sacrifice time away from your, your, your leisure time, whatever that is. Maybe you like to, watch, maybe you like to, to read novels on um, Harry Potter. I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know what you like to do. But you have to put in the work. And that time has to come from somewhere. Maybe it looks like you, you're taking time from different areas of your leisure time. And maybe maybe instead of playing nine, nine rounds of basketball, maybe play two. And put the rest towards your business. Right? Be willing to pay the price. Now, moving into 2019... You have to be honest with yourself. You know what you can do. You know what you're going to do. You know what you're not going to do. But you have to be honest with yourself. Stop pretending. Stop lying. Stop saying everything is okay when it's not. 90% of construction business owners out there lie about the status of their business. We're doing good. Oh, we, 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 we got this amount of work. Oh, we got that. And, and it's not. 
Maybe you do have that, but the status of your business is not correct. It's not in line to what you're saying it is. And that's what I'm saying. So, you owe you for 2019. You owe you to do better for 2019. But you got to be obsessed. You got to put in the work. You got to... See, it, all of us as construction entrepreneurs, we all want to go out there and, and, and be out there in the field. We all want to work with our hands. But that's not running a business. That's not growing a business. That's not being a successful business owner. The more you being out there working with your hands the lower your wage is that you're going to take home. The, 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 more, the more oftentimes you're going to have to sit up and tell your significant other, I didn't make the money I thought I was going to make. That needs to stop. It needs to stop. Why? Because you're not putting in the energy and the time to get better at this. You owe you. For 2019, you need to roll into this getting better at what you do. Plain and simple. That's it. I'm letting you go with that.